Nicolo, welcome to Floor Talk. It's great to have you on the show today. Great to be back in the big board. Thank you. So now, Nicolo, it's World Quantum Day, and you're ringing the closing bell to highlight that. So tell me, what's your vision for IonQ in this fast-evolving space? Well, we were the first publicly listed quantum computing company, and we're the only one on the NYSE. And I'm proud that I was one of the original sponsors of that IPO four or five years ago. I've been on the board for five years, been the CEO for two months, actually. So this is a big moment for me on many levels. We set out to build the 800 pound gorilla of the quantum computing space initially. And in the last three or four years, we've expanded that vision. So today it's the 800 pound gorilla of quantum computing and quantum networking. And in the fullness of time, we want to be the 800 pound gorilla and the name you know for anything associated with quantum, quantum computing, networking, sensing, and the application of quantum technologies to make sure that our modern world as we know it just gets better and better. Now, your customers include Airbus, Hyundai, and AstraZeneca. How are these companies putting quantum computing to work? Well, everybody's using it a little bit differently, right? So General Dynamics uses our computers for fraud and anomaly detection. AstraZeneca, of course, is using quantum computing to model a quantum process, which is drug discovery, effectively, right? Molecules, atoms, that's a quantum system, right? Um, when you think about customers uh, <clears throat> beyond that, there is, uh, I think, cargo loading for Airbus. There's, of course, safe making and safe breaking, if you will, quantum encryption and, and, and for quantum networking and quantum computing that can threaten blockchain encryption. And when you think more broadly about three-letter agencies uh, and you think about you know, Air Force Research Labs, they're a huge partner of ours. They care about our quantum computers and how they're actually networks together, Air Force Research Lab. If you think about uh, customers like EPB in Tennessee, they're both a computing and a networking customer of ours. And so increasingly we think about our business as the full-fledged quantum industry and the business of quantum, not just quantum computing. You recently announced a partnership with Governor Wes Moore. Why invest in Maryland to have it become the capital of quantum? Our company is actually born on the University of Maryland campus. Our founder, Dr. Chris Monroe, did the seminal work 30 years ago. And this business was actually spun out of UMD, you know, a couple decades ago. So we're deeply appreciative of the partnership we've had with UMD and the state of Maryland. I met Governor Westmore a few weeks ago, was deeply impressed with his vision. We're, we, of course, are delighted that he envisages the capital of quantum, the Silicon Valley of quantum, being right with INQ on the campus of UMD. It's important to the state of Maryland, Annapolis. It's important to be in the center of the three-letter agency world. The DMV is the center of national security. And it's gonna be important for growing the economy of Maryland, ultimately the national economy, right? So quantum computing is about national security and also national economic growth. And finally, Niccolo. Looking ahead, what are some of the biggest opportunities you see for IonQ and quantum computing more broadly? Quantum computing is gonna impact positively every aspect of applied science. Today, we are, we are effectively delivering what I would call a narrow quantum advantage to companies like Ansys who are showing 12% speed ups in modeling uh, life-changing blood pumps, for example. Increasingly though, new materials will get created. You know, you'll get the extension of autonomy, the extension of battery life, You'll get efficiencies in logistics and, of course, you know, efficiencies in preserving the modern world as we know it in the form of secure data, secure communication, not just for you, e-commerce and your banking details, but, of course, the battlefield of the future and the battlefield of today need all these technologies, right? So quantum processing units are going to grow the total compute industry the same way that GPUs grew the market beyond what CPUs can do. QPUs will solve problems that CPUs and GPUs either never will or will require so much energy, it will simply not be practicable, right? So this was a pioneering technology at our IPO four years ago. Today, every Fortune 100 CEO has a quantum strategy. I think a few years from today, in the future, when we celebrate Quantum Day, hopefully with you fine folks at NYC, you're gonna find that INQ is becoming a household name. All right, well, Nicolo, it's been fantastic to talk with you. Thank you for joining me on Floor Talk today. Thank you so much for your time.